Is that better? Yeah. Yes, you can still. You you still being this dead cow? Dante is a nigga. No. This uh, uh this is this is new. This is new dead cow beatings. <laughs> yes, this is new beatings. You guys hear me though? Punch punch the wall if you hear me. Green hearts if you hear this. You hear me now, right? I don't know why sometimes that thing does that. It's so it's so messed up. All right. I was saying I was saying That's huge bitch. Yes, I was saying that, and I, and I also was saying... Shani made a video again. And since, uh, you know, the summertime is hard because I'm doing a lot of hangout with my family and work, and um, it's hard to make the time for these. But uh, my schedule pretty much is, unless Shani makes another video, it'll be this, and then the, the G-Man video, and then I'm going to catch up on Styrax. Uh, but you guys, you guys hear me, right? Hey, what's up, Amethyst? How you doing? Uh, you guys can just let me know that you can hear me, right? You hear me, right? Yes, okay. I wanted to make sure. Who called the cops? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Uh, it seems like you need to move on because... You don't even know what what's going on or who we're talking about or the time, you know. Um, and I, I don't know. That's not what old news. What's old news? Wellness check. What do you? Oh my God. Hey, can somebody? Uh, I think this man didn't take it. Take your his meds, sir. Sir, old 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 man. Uh, or or woman, can you please get to your medication? No one's talking about police calls. Get to the medication now, okay? No one's talking about that. This is a totally different video. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, you know, seek some professional help. No one's talking about any of that stuff. But go go hang out with uh people that uh think that Shani is like. You know, uh, touching her children in a sexual manner. Go, I'm sure you'll love it over there. I'm sure that's what you'll hang out with. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't have sexual perverts over here. And I'm going to say this now. If anyone's over a part of that community, stay the fuck away from mine. Like, really? The bullshit I've heard, um, it's disgusting. And I don't know. I can't go along with anyone who's thought that Shani would touch her kids in, in a sexual way. So please stay away from my community, and I'm serious about that because that's fucking disgusting. Oh, uh, so uh, well, you know, I got my secrets. Uh, but you can, you can hear, you can hear me, right? I just wanted to make sure. Oh, hey, Phil, I got your your favorite videos on YouTube is Alana. Why did you favorite? <laughs> Ew, he did. That is messed up, Philly guy. That is so messed up. Oh, let me get into the video. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. And then Mr. Douchebag was all like, meh, meh, re, 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 because I don't know you. And that makes me re extra big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys hear me. What is up, guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the crib. 
Really? Yo, queen of buttholes, please. I don't I don't talk about your butthole, all right? Go 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 uh talk about teddy bear about, you know, lying and throwing bricks at people. You know, I'm sure you like that, you know? And again, I have to call out bullshit when I call out bullshit. Teddy bear lied and said that Carrie uh, had a drunk driving charge that Michael beat up his ex-wife. Michael beat up his uh, his 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 daughter, and then owes twenty five hundred dollars. I'm here to say I'll stick up for Carrie and say none of that's true. Okay, Teddy Bear, people like you, you need to stop that bullshit. Okay, this is how Girl World got imploded. People like you jumping on people's freaking coattails and then lying. Now, if you came here with receipts, then that's a different story, bro. But I'm telling you right now, uh, your timelines do not match up with the people who actually know her. And there ain't no um, police reports getting circled around in discords. You're a liar. Maybe I'm sure you have some mental issues, uh, Teddy Bear, but you really need to calm the freak down. Okay? I'm not going to deal with that. And Queen of Spade, how dare you? How dare you for letting that guy say that bullshit? But uh, yeah, let, let's let, let's just get into the video. Um, yeah, I didn't know you guys couldn't hear me at first. So yeah, this is a new video. In case uh, that that person doesn't understand, this is a new video. Uh, the, the wellness check was over a month ago. Please keep up, sir, please or ma'am. Please, uh, please keep up. Totally different thing. Totally different thing. And that was because Shani talked about ending her life with Rev. And as a mandated reporter, you can't let that go. Maybe you should look into what mandated reporter means. But uh, let's get this video started because that guy's already giving me agita. <laughs> Guys, like the stream. Thanks for hanging out. And I love you, Packy. And what's up to uh, what's up to China? And shout out to the Chinamen. You guys, you know what? You see people like that in my chat. Do what you gotta do, okay? That's what I'll say. Do what you gotta do. But guys, for the rest of you, thanks for hanging out. Please like, let's get into this. And everyone's been very danger uh not dangerous, been very generous with the cash apps and my new PayPal at Draven Script. So uh if you feel like you want to donate, you don't want to donate to uh Google, you can just do it privately like that. No one knows anything but me. So thank you so much. All right, let's get into this. Sucks that there's no like closed captioning, right. really. So, I don't know what I need to say. Um, I was just told by the Lord to preach, to speak. I don't know where I'm going in this, but. I will say this as I yeah, surrender to Jesus. It is what it is. Holy. A wandering son, you know, uh, people talk. That's what they do. They need to do that to make money online. I kind of feel sorry for them. I have many ideas going on, but there's a lot of people out there that not only respect what I do, get a, a kick out of it, but support me. And they've been doing it forever. And, uh, I like to I like to you know put a smile on their face. It makes me happy. So even if those just couple of people want to just keep doing what they're doing, it helps keep me going. You know, and that's really all there is to it. You know, and and um, I will keep this going just for their benefit because these are sweet people, and they see that you know I'm just a fun guy that tries to sell, uh, relate horrible stories, but in a funny way. You know with all my heart, strength, soul, and might. Um, I'm a type of person, I am a person who lives every day in Dude. horrible pain. Dude, what does that even, what does that even mean? Can you explain uh, yourself? And if you're just going off uh, rumors and stuff, man, uh, it, uh, message me later and I'll tell you some rumors that will blow your mind. Like literally you'll, you'll throw up, you'll throw up because that they're, they're that disgusting. So yeah, uh, reach out to me later. I'm, I'm doing a stream now. Okay. 
I'm I'm a person who struggles to find a job because of my pain. Um, I've been looking into jobs that include voice acting, entry data processing, um, things I can do at home. Yeah, you're uh, you're uh, son of Hecate. Because I know you. My body is riddled. You were blocked. With arthritis. Not by me. I don't. I don't do that. I have osteoarthritis, and it's severe cases in my ankles, my knees, my yeah, hips, right. my back, my neck. Okay, so when, get back to the actual video and not not crazy shit. You guys in the in, in the in the chat, you do what you gotta do. New viewers, you get timed out, you get blocked. Don't come at me with that. You gotta understand, my people love me and protect me. If they find you being uh, trollish or cowish, they are going to do what they got to do because this is a viewer show. It's for the viewers, made by the viewers, for the viewers. And so um, that's why I barely even look at chat because the viewers take care of it, number one. Number two, you hear this stuff? You, he you hear this? Not, oh, my RSTO, my arthritis, my pain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, uh, whatever happens to that doctor visit? Guys, remember what was it? A month and a half ago, there was a a, a um a uh, uh, she was going to the cancer doctor to get the biopsy, and someone who's had a biopsy on their leg, they're not fun. They hurt. They gotta get down to the bone. So uh, she didn't really talk too much about that. I'm sure she didn't get the news she wanted. You know, my arms are big. I have struggled going to the bathroom every day. <laughs> Probably. Because of the arthritis, it feels like I ran a marathon every time just to go to the bathroom. Going up the stairs feels like climbing a mountain. And this is my reality every day. But yeah, hey, Philly guy, what's up? It's it's been a little bit, bro. Um, it's good to see you in different stages. It's good to see you too. Uh, it's good to see Jilly's mom and Massey, of course, and uh, Guy Michaels and Amethyst. I think I said that. Uh, yeah, good seeing you guys. And Sarah, what's up, Sarah? Thank you for showing up uh, last night too. So uh, I really do appreciate it, guys, and I do appreciate that you guys are coming around and hanging out. Uh, you know, on the uh, members. Naughty Rudolph, wow, uh, it, it's been a bit. How you doing? <laughs> I like your comment. I've bro. also gained agoraphobia because of the harassment. Oh, hey, Catbox. Hey, Genty. And the stalking that has been taking place in my life for ten years. Like, I don't want to go outside. Because there's always someone driving. Exactly. Up. There's always someone taking a picture or saying a rude. Saying a rude. <laughs> because a bunch of people concocted that I'm this horrible person and I haven't committed any crimes. I'm just a woman who struggles every day. Um, I, I, I don't know what you mean, Nani Rudolph. I don't deflect. You can ask me anything you want, and I think you've known that forever. Um, again, there was a, there was a lot of uh, BS, and you know what? I don't play the gatekeeper here, but I also don't make up stories about people. I've heard some horrible things, and I just don't engage because it's just it's stupid to engage you know now a real locale would because they have nothing they have no money they have no anything um i'm not in that position thank god i just you know been doing what i've been doing for years and showing them and spreading awareness spraying the shanty effect so people can watch it and not li live like this um i thought you knew that but you know like i said there's People can have their interpretations. It's all, you know, it's all gravy. And I continue to struggle every day. And this is my reality. Is struggling to go to the bathroom. Struggling to go upstairs. Hey, too, okay. Heck, struggling to put on my clothes and take a shower is also a very painful 
experience where I have to psych myself up before I can do any of that. Because the pain is so severe. I'm currently... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> under like <laughs> five uh, medications. This is new, Jen. This is from today. So so if you re uh, watch, listen to uh, the earlier part, so... Like, because this is like an hour. Uh, Shani felt the need to stream that, you know, uh, God uh, came in and was like, Shani, you need to stream. I, I don't know. I don't I don't believe that. <laughs> That's allegedly. But yeah, this is from today, from today, uh, just so you know. And I I do uh, I had to jump through some hoops to even get this. So thank you for the person that was holding the hoops out for me. I very much appreciate it. You know who you are. Uh, my literally my second in command. My real second in command. That I take multiple times a day because of this pain. And it doesn't even cut the threshold of pain I'm in. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm at my wit's end. And I'm certainly not going to surrender to Satan because he's the one who put me most render saying um sh i guess shani made this uh if i had more time i would have added shani's face in it uh but it is what it is I, you know i just uh if i was gonna do that it would have taken another hour to render that so we just have to use our imaginations but i don't i i guess this is another i mean if i was gonna guess i would say this is another money grift for her to get some money uh, because she's in such pain. I mean, the last video was she, two days ago. It didn't sound like she was just talking about things. It was kind of boring. Uh, but she really didn't go into anything. Now she's like, oh, I'm in such pain. And let's see. She wrote up here, the boogeyman doesn't exist. Jesus Christ saying good versus evil. The Bible. Uh, who? Did she, did she just she turned around communism? <laughs> Uh, politics and that's it in this scenario he's the one that caused people's hearts to be darkened to look at me as some pariah to look at me as the devil <laughs> when all I want to do is just love people I know I've said choice words I know I haven't reacted right in life But my intention was never to hurt anyone. Oh, really? Oh, really? I mean, like, again, all right, let, let, let's let's be adults for a second, okay? Let's stop the, oh, my God, you said this because, like, you know, I'm at a point where I, I'm, I'm not down with that anymore. I feel like this the whole cancel culture has ruined the country. But with that being said... You know, there was stuff we didn't say in the 80s and the 90s because we knew um, that that could hurt somebody's feelings. And me being a, a mixed race in individual, I don't like any uh, slurs. They all hurt. And that's just how I feel about the situation. Um, I, I really would have rather have heard, I'm sorry about that choice words. Uh, my father or my mother used to say them. And I thought being in a little town by myself well, with my brother and sister uh that it, that was okay i mean there's really she doesn't really go into it. it's just oh yes i've said choice words when i'm upset and again to me from psychology it tells me she says those words because that's the low-hanging fruit that she only knows to say back because she doesn't have an intelligent rebuttal to say to somebody because i don't want to hurt anyone and I'm too ethical as a person to want to even side with Satan. Because I know there's a choice now. It's either go with God and suffer. Yeah. Thanks, Catbox. Or be with Satan and prosper. But that's a lie. Mm. And serious pack here. And guys, and be careful. This guy, I don't know. Be, people are afraid of him in, in big groups. You know, uh, he was part of the biggest gangs 
uh, on on the internet. He says, yeah, how you react to things is what makes you a low cow. You can't artificially make them. Yes, facts. You cannot artificially make a low cow. No, low cows come on screen when they uh, have too much information to tell you or you see them bearing like uh, puppies and in, in, you know, in their dumpster or abuse kids live on camera to get a rise out of people or just do all sorts of drugs and not care about it. I mean, really, there's a lot of things to make people a little cow. I think the worst is um, neglecting kids and not feeding them. Or if, if you're making a YouTube video and your, your children are clearly hungry or crying in the background because they need you and you could give a crap because it's all about you making that video. There's some low cow examples. I mean, you know, at least to me, you know, and I, I'm a lot of my community agrees with the same sentiment. Because all these people that had short lived prosperous lives because they sided with the devil their prosperous lives ended quickly, ended shortly. For instance, you look <laughs> yeah, at right? Mike Lindell, um, the My Pillow guy. Yeah, the one who did uh, crack. What, what about Mike Lindell? He, he, I bet that's Rev's idol. Yeah, Mike Lindell. Ha 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 ha. You look at him, and he had a well-running company before he got involved with the devil, a.k.a. Donald Trump. He's our pizza, he, yeah. He had a prosperous company. And, you know, he says he believes in Jesus. I don't know. He puts the cross on the American flag, and I think that's so disgusting as an American to do because we yeah, are supposed scary. to yeah, that's separate. That's true, that's true, Kat politics and state with religion and i don't think a lot of these maga people realize that there needs to be uh no uh, uh dante how it works over here at the crib people give me stuff and they say here here's a donation please cover this um or sometimes they'll just they won't give the donation they'll just be like can you cover this because i want to hear your reaction because that's how my community works they Give me stuff, and they say, "Here, uh, please uh, cover this." I have a couple of things lined up, actually, and a lot of what I do is not even my uh, decision; it's the decision of my viewers. So, I hope that explains that. To be a clear separation. Yeah, we're a real uh, a chill, cool community here. Between church and state, and it's not because you don't love Jesus that you separate church and state. Wow, did she have a vacuum on? It's because... Or was that the fan? You're not the only one who has beliefs in this country, and it should stay neutral, because even a lot of people who are Christians don't worship the way that other Christians do, you know? Some Christians are more aggressive. I don't want to be that person. I think it's wrong to try to push your religion onto people. Yeah, but you know, Jen, if, if Shani and Chantel were roommates, uh, I mean, I guess Shani would have to go to Kuwait. Can you imagine Shani and Kuwait? That would be, I mean, I would definitely tune in for that one, you know? <laughs> um, because what if you're wrong about your brand of Christianity? Um, I believe politics should stay completely secular and i think the bible verifies that as well because you you see israel wanting a king we need a king we need a king instead of having the king aka jesus christ of nazareth We we want a man king, so they got Saul, and he was a horrible king because they mixed religion and, and politics. I mean, really, I am just surprised. I mean, it's been forever. What, like, uh, 
you know, uh, almost two months. And then the other day, Shannon makes a video. Then right now today, uh, I guess, well, not even a couple hours ago, she makes another video. I'm just checking it out, just like everyone else who would, you know, uh, know that Shannon made a video that can actually watch it because Shannon does uh, on certain platforms. If you're blocked, you're blocked. So you got to, like, do a, a couple of things to, to get it. But uh, I'm just doing what everyone else would do. You're like, oh, she made a video. Well, let's watch it and talk about it. You you go to the the crucifixion of Jesus, and and you see what happens. David, when he said that God hates about that, sometimes um, when sometimes that happens, I don't know why. I don't know why it, that's a problem with uh, uh, what the hell is it called melon, and because I'm a melon partner, I need to talk to him about that. That happens sometimes. Very sorry about that, but now, now you can hear it again. But when you sow discord among your brethren. He hates that, and in every day you see Israel. Yeah, showing yeah. it's discord. working now. 
among their bre brethren and I'm I'm talking about the Palestinians that is their brethren they are the seed of Abraham man if she you gets like so boring not, they are part of that promise Abraham's promise they still are the seed of Abraham they are Hagar's children who was sent out in the desert because of a jealous woman called Sarah to provide for only herself and her child that Sarah wanted. I don't understand why it happened that way. But for the longest time of my life, I could understand what Hagar went through because a lot of women go through that every day being shunned and kicked out of your family essentially Hagar was just doing what she was told to do Make a child with Abraham so Abraham could have a seed. And that seed. Yeah, I got something to ask you guys. And I've been researching the Quran and reading the Quran. No, you haven't. That's BS. And. I have to say uh oh I hear ref say oh. that man why he must be pissed the stories that are in the Quran their beliefs are no different than Christianity's beliefs and what's in the Bible thank you who was that that sounds like alcohol I am ashamed that I was angry at Islam for years because of September 11th. I am ashamed that I didn't research Islam yeah, right. sooner oh, hey, Chris. because hey. I was just so angry what happened. What's up? <laughs> and what I want to say I'm sorry to my Muslim brothers and sisters for being angry with you over nonsense things that were not in your control well you know what guys i found out that i could do private streams where i guess i can um if i had everyone's email i could i, I could send them through the email and then it would just be a private or an unlisted stream it wouldn't be like a members thing because actually non-members could do it so if anyone would be interested in that, you 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 let me know because you know it's hard. That's why I'm gonna be doing probably other streams that aren't that are more pre-recorded because you know I'm trying to um, you know people are saying this is an old video. This is not an old video. Um, it was told to me that this video is from today. I I I. I I would almost put money on it that this video is from today. It says seven hours ago. This video is from today. I mean, if people want to lie about that, I mean, guys, again, I always say, please consider the friggin' source. Somebody's trying to be like, I got you now, Draven. You're showing an old video. Like, even if I was, so friggin' what? But this, this is not an old video. Like, I don't know. Like the mental illness is real with some people. It really is. And it's just, this is from today. If you're not interested, go watch somebody else. It's really that fucking simple. <laughs> like it really is. Like it's just, it's getting to a point where it's like, I don't know what I did to you. Nothing. I'm trying to play a video from today and have fun with it. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm no longer going to be engaging with these people in the chat anymore. If someone does something, you guys know what to do. I'm I'm done engaging with them. From this point on, I will not engage with anybody. So, it's I mean, you know, anybody like that. It sucks that it has to be like that, but like, you know, I I got to keep the flow going. I got to keep the show going. So, I hope you guys understand that. 
But thank you for being here. Please like. And uh, what's up, replay crew? Never a dull moment here, right, guys? And you know what? Thank you, guys. And you know I love you. Uh, I really, really do. You guys have been nothing but there for me for the longest. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I have to preach. I want to say sorry for that. I am truly sorry for that, for being angry at you. And I feel bad for it. I've been looking into other religions, too. Oh, you have? Uh-oh. And I, I, they're just so similar, but with, like, different perspectives. Shani's gonna be coming to the dark side. Ha 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 ha. Screw you, God. Yeah, that's what you think, bitch. You can have her. I don't want her. Whoa, whoa, deities, deities, please, please. Uh, God and the devil. Come on, guys. We can we all just come on, get along. I just had to tell the viewers to chill out. Can can the deities please please chill out? Come on. I, I think you guys can do that. Come on. <laughs> uh yeah, because this is this this is wild. So so now she's I don't know who she's talking about apologizing. I still want my uh, apology. Hey Shani, when you watch this later, I would like an apology from you. F from what? Well, I, I will tell you. That time that you uh, invaded my stream because I talked to you previously, and you still had the Streamyard link, and you took your one boob out, and it it just. Uh, it was gross. And then you took your like pinky and you pulled Rev's little pants down and you were playing around with his little baby carrot. That, that was gross. You know, you guys talk about you being uh, Christians and acting Christians. And that was really disgusting. And again, you weren't even on screen anymore. You were backstage doing that. And the fact that Rev was okay with it, like, I don't know if I was, if I was, uh, you know, um, pulling around a little baby carrot like him, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe I don't, I'm not down with this because uh, makes me look more pathetic than uh, doing this to Draven. <laughs> but you know, again, that's my uh, uh, that's the apology I would like, you know, because I really, really, really did not need to see that. That I realize, yes, she is. Acknowledge. Oh, hey, Kinky Chef. What's up? Yeah, to be What's ecumenical up? is to be... Uh-oh. Yo, watch out, all trolls in the house. This is called Kinky Chef. She eats trolls for breakfast. Just final warning. And that is the only warning. <laughs> She's the fastest click in the West. Close to God. To allow these different faiths to thrive and live because Every religion, every religion has a seed of truth. Thank you, Chris Beatty. Every religion always I appreciate comes it. to the point where they <laughs> Wait, concerned the citizen? invisible God. Benefit. What's up? This creator God, the God that created everything, and that God is Jesus Christ. Our Messiah. Mm hmm Our Messiah came here to help us. Then he ran away. But we didn't. It's disgusting. Full of violence and vengeance. Because the devil made it that way. He, he, he snuck someone in there said, we will help you prosper. And I'm talking about Trump. And all it did was cause mm -hmm. religion to fall. Um, now, Shani, surprisingly, is a, like, is a, is a lot like a, some of the, of the piece of crap creators here. Uh, and what I mean is like they're a fence sitter. 
and uh, Shaney was for Trump and then against Trump and, and Red was really for Trump and then against them and then for him and then against them. It's really any, or any way the wind blows. And I hate people like that. I respect people that have conviction and that won't follow the angry mob that will actually have the balls to stick up for their own beliefs because, you know, you're definitely going to need that now. And if you can't do that online with people that aren't real, then I'm sure you can't even do that in real life, you know? Um, and that's why I just, I hate that. She's always like, you know, when any type of politics talk happens, it's, you can't believe it. It's whatever the wind blows folks for real. But guys, thanks for hanging. Please like, I appreciate you. I really do. I don't think humans are responsible enough, smart enough, sophisticated enough. Yeah, right? To rule this world or lands. I used to think that the government was out to get you, but through my own personal experiences, if you haven't heard about what's been going on with CPS no. and Scranton, I suggest you do because it shows how incompetent yeah. and reckless the government has been. Wow. What balls? What balls? No, let me just interject that for a second. Because remember, to have a video, to be not have a video claimed on you, you need to make it transformative. You just can't take someone's video and clip it and not have anything because that's not transformative. But anyway, that's funny because all I, I know all those times that she was in Scranton and Colorado and people were calling CPS saying, hey, how can you let this person? She's just high off her ass. She's not a parent. Rev's not their dad. He's not their biological dad, and he's hitting them. How is this allowed? And again, it wasn't until the kids actually spoke up and said, I can't deal with this. Because you know what? They'll just keep letting it go, you know? Get rid of the nuclear family and all that. But until the kids actually spoke up and said, no, this is not a good environment. So is that what she's talking about? Now, I did hear some things that I was going to wait. It, a lot of it, you know, you have to take with a grain of salt that uh, somebody's in trouble and maybe Rev can't be around the kids or maybe he can't pass a drug test. I don't know. I, I've, I've heard all sorts of things. So I don't know if this is what she's alluding to, but I guess I'll, I'll just keep letting her talk, guys. And it's not because of any one individual. It's just... Yeah. Because our, us as humans, we haven't gotten our shit together. No shit. Like I said, we're not, we're not competent or sophisticated enough to rule anything. You look at Congress now, and they're a mess. They're completely separated. They don't work bipartisanly anymore. They used to, but they don't anymore. What does that have to do with politics you? Politics and trying to get others to waver in their favor um, is more important than actually putting this country together and, and the world for that fact. Let's go into the world. You look at the war between Ukraine and Putin and frankly, I'm, I'm very much... Mm-hmm. Sweden at this point. Sweet. Um, oh, okay. I take Neutral. no sides in this war because I think both leaders are corrupt and feeling the industrial military complex more and more. In my own personal feeling, I think all countries, all countries, everyone should get rid of their military. Because 90% of the world's budget goes into killing people when we could take that 90% and save people. All right, all right, hold on a second. Let me just take that, let me just take that back a little second. <laughs> uh, over 20 years ago, when it was like the year 2000, I went down to Europe. 
uh, more importantly, Amsterdam. I wanted to check that out. I never saw mar legal marijuana before. That was the first time in the year 2000 that I found out that people, non-Americans, don't like Americans. That they were getting fed, and they showed me on, you know, on the news, different medias talking about us and things that, that the Americans didn't even know that were going on. So, you know, when I hear someone like this who was so not informed and only never left even the country, I think about that. I think about my time over there in Europe and my and just waking up learning, you know, yes, things happen. And all you can do is try to, you know, uh, follow the uh, the laws that your state wants you to follow. But again, like, you know, if there's very serious laws like child neglect and abuse, you should definitely follow those, not only just because it's the law, but, you know, like you should have a heart, especially if you're a parent, you know, I mean, you only have a couple of years with, 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 with kids and then they grow up to be a certain age. And they don't want to hang around with mom and dad anymore. I think any parent knows that. So you want to use the time, you know, uh, sparingly and not be a piece of shit around them the whole time. But with all that being said, it's just I always think it's fascinating what Shani thinks about the world because she really, really has no idea what they even think about her in other countries. We'd rather kill people than save people. And I don't think that's what God wanted. You look at God's kingdom, the kingdom of God, heaven, as you will. And it's all these different people coming together and, and doing the right thing. Helping others, loving each other. If one needs to be lifted up, they lift them up. That is true. <laughs> and it's, it's just... Switzerland, that's sweet, right? You got we it. live in a world today where so many people are separated and they cause these hate mobs to go after someone for one mistake one moment of indiscretion oh no okay yes and no some people yes uh i mean i could tell you a bunch of stories <laughs> but sandy you you had a lot you had a lot and even when people were gonna try to look past even when they didn't even know about the child abuse they weren't a hundred percent just the things that you were doing, throwing up on their Christmas gifts, like stuff like that. It's just stuff that it made people disgusted. Like, wow, how can you do that and be okay with it? And I was there for a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, there was stuff that I was against well before I even knew child abuse was on the table. Um, the ripping someone's heart apart, someone's life apart destroying a person without any thought of the consequences of what they do you're you're seeing it all through the culture of the world be it actors from hollywood or presidents all ripping each other apart in in no consensus of peace We should have peace in this world. We know better. That, that's, the, that's the problem. It's like, we know better, but we choose to do wrong. We, we yeah, know wrong. that we should come together. We know we should have peace. But we don't want to put it in the work ourselves to have this peace and, and love and fellowship among your fellow man. We know better. And it's been a long time that people show, acknowledge, and heighten their better self. And I'm asking mankind to please start showing your better self that that part in you it's a part in you that is given loving nurturing 
you see someone hurt, you, you try to pick them up, you try to help them when they're down. But that's not happening anymore. You see someone down and you celebrate and you conjole. And I can even say it for myself, I do it too. You know, I'm not going to be a hypocrite in this. You know, that I, there's been points in my life where I didn't show my better self. Where I did act like the lowest human being there could possibly be. And I'm not proud of it. I certainly don't celebrate it. Because I know truly, deep within my soul, I'm not that person. Well, you acted like it. <laughs> you know? It says in the Bible that God does not take joy when his enemy suffers. Hmm. He doesn't enjoy it. Instead, he... You hear her smoking in the background. And again, this is another reason why she does, uh, doesn't go on camera because she can do whatever she wants. Now, she's about to say, oh, oh, God doesn't enjoy hurting their enemies. Well, Shani did. I've seen Shani crack up and laugh because someone passed away from someone that was talking about her. She was so happy about it. So, like, you see, I told you guys don't mess with me because God messes with the people that mess with me. It's it's disgusting. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Weeps for them. Because these people who, who do the lowest, vilest, contemptuous things, God weeps over because he knows they have a better half. They have a better self. And they know better. Q on Star Trek was was completely correct when he called us a spoiled child species. We are very much like children because though we know better, we choose to do wrong. We choose to do bad. And a lot of people wrong. celebrate <laughs> this part of themselves of doing bad. Ha 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 ha. We're going to get away with this type of stuff. Hey, I don't try to do bad. I just try to to uh, make sure other people know, especially people that are elderly, don't have a lot of money, living on Social Security because like they're in their 80s or 70s, and the money that they have, it could be a difference between you getting their meds and, and not thinking that this woman can't walk and she, her and Rev have nothing, and oh my God, let me help her out. That is what I'm here for, because I don't want that ever happening again. When I heard that that she did that, not only not only once, but twice, I was livid. And yeah, I agree with the woman that said that Shani probably did it because Shani looked at this woman as like a mother figure, maybe even a grandmother figure. You know, like people that I know that had their grandmothers took care, raised them more than their moms, quite a bit. But uh, I would say this is more of a mother figure, uh, or it was a mother figure to Shani. And basically, she just took the woman's money until she realized that, you know, she was just getting high with it on Delta 8. So that's all I'm ever trying to do is spread awareness that she does this because I don't want anyone else, elderly or otherwise, giving their money, their last bit of $50, $30 to this woman so she can go smoke Delta 8 with Rev until they pass out. And them thinking that that, you know, praise Jesus, that helped them eat another, you know, another night, which is BS. You know, just like G-Man Zoe said, Rev and Shani have their own people to call when they need foods. But in the long run, when you do that type of stuff, you're actually destroying yourself. Like... Let's look at, for instance, consumerism and inflation and how these greedy companies keep putting prices on food, on hygiene necessities. Yeah, like washing. Dirty. <laughs> Dirty ass. And they just keep 
putting the prices higher and higher and higher. And they know they shouldn't be doing that. But they're hurting themselves now. Damn. Uh, I just want to say thank you to a um, person who just gave me a PayPal. My PayPal is linked in the description. And I also have Cash App. Uh, I got a Cash App earlier before, so thank you. And like I said, guys, I do appreciate that. Um, I, you know, I humbly appreciate that. That helps me out. It helps the channel out. So thank you so much. So I just want to throw that out there. Thank you. You know who you are. Through that consumerism, through that greed, because people can't pay for the stuff that they used to. They can't regularly buy the things that they used to buy on a regular basis. Because the dollar amount has gone so minuscule. Not as minuscule as other countries, but... And I know this for a fact because, you know, some things I do to get a little bit of money, and I mean a very little bit of money. Yeah, like lie about um, Jesus and stuff. from places from other countries. And their dollar is nowhere equivalent to our dollar. And our dollar's shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine what those other countries are going through. And like I said, guys, you know, I make these videos and the people that used to come in a lot, I miss them. I miss them so much. I miss their comments and I'm worried. I hope that they don't feel like, you know, if they come in, they're going to get harassed. And I don't want that. So I can understand. So don't don't worry about it, you know, but uh, I just want to say that sucks because I miss you and I miss your comments. A lot of people used to come in, crack me up with their comments and I'm glad that you guys are brave enough to come in and have fun. So, you know, kudos to you. And what's up, Replay Crew? Um, thanks for hanging out with me this long. And don't forget to like on your way out. Um, they're not being their better selves. And they're destroying themselves through this greed. Um, capitalism has failed because... The high 1% doesn't do the trickle-down economics as we were promised. Instead, they hoard all the money. And uh, by the way, just a little disclaimer out there. Please, 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 if you don't know anything about stock markets or money at all, please, please, please do not, do not, repeat, do not take any financial advice from Scammy for Christ. She is one of the biggest, well, you know, she's always the biggest, but she's one of the biggest reasons why Rev, ha, 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 does not have any money, that's 750 grand anymore, because against the uh, wishes of his, of his financial advisor that actually got him some money before, he put, Rev put all his financials into Shani, and Shani lost a lot of his money. So please do not take any financial advice from Shani. Okay, I just want to warn y'all for themselves and they don't put it back out to society so they could get more money. Instead, we're at a we're at still water. You know, we're at a stall. You know, no more income is coming in. Everyone is getting poorer while these rich people are hoarding all the money and complaining that they're not getting the money that they used to but it's because you're not doing the trickle down economics you're not being ethical with your money you're being greedy with your money and you're not putting it back out into the system like elon musk he could do so incredible and and help the world in so many ways but he chooses to hoard his money. Now, I know he gave, what is it, $9 billion to uh, the UN to stop world hunger. And I'm, I'm, I'm hungry every day. I'm, 
I'm a person who <laughs> who eats for 15 days and then starves for 15 days because I don't have the money to get food. So I'm <laughs> fasting half of the month. Shani, Shani, like people said before, you can lose a few pounds. You're easily 450 pounds, 425. You're easy over the fours. You can lose a little weight. You overly eat. Okay? And for months, how long was Rev, a.k.a. Jason, a.k.a. your boyfriend, because common law does not, does not exist in Pennsylvania, how long was he just living off a tub of peanut butter, just straight peanut butter? I don't know what is up with these, these, these low cows and eating their tubs of peanut butter. It's just... It's just like the one chromosome that, that just needs peanut butter in their life. I don't know what it is. But, like, if it was good enough for him, it'd be good enough for you. Pretty much. Because I only get a certain amount of money for food. And based on inflation, I can barely feed myself. And this, this is a person who's sick and, and kind of needs nutrients in order to help herself. But because of the lack of nutrients, I'm getting sicker and sicker. And I, I'm just one person, okay? I'm sure there are plenty of people around the country and world that feel the same way I do. That it's just, it's not enough to survive, like. And I'm sure a lot of people who, who work go through the same thing. They're, they're working their asses off, but they can't even feed their own selves half of the month. Because rent is high. Uh, electricity is high. Internet is high. Gas is high. Food is high. Uh, essential items are high. Like Okay. Least... Uh, well, let's see. You had G-Man paying your bills. And the only thing that was high was you and Rev. Uh, you would starve your boys, unfortunately. You didn't feed your guinea pig or the... And you barely feed the cats. The only reason why you do feed the cats is because you probably get it for free through the EBT as well. I heard there's a program. And again, like I just said, you rev would eat the damn peanut butter. The times that you've been, the, the couple of years you've been with rev, you've gotten heavier, he's gotten skinnier. That, does, that is not by design. And Shani, I have another question. Why do you drink regular soda usually? Sometimes you drink diet, but why do you mostly drink regular and he has to drink the zero sugar? Like, or did you brainwash him into thinking that he was the heavy one? I'm just, just curious thing is up while you have these rich people sitting on their money and bitching and complaining that people aren't spending money but it's like you're not putting anything in the system why are you bitching you're sitting on this hoard of money you don't suffer you probably have no true understanding what suffering is and you, you you complain about money instead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry because me, my community and I actually have the freaking things that you're going online and grifting money for. Uh, skin cancer right here. I have a couple of people in my community in the crypt that also have cancer. MS right here. Not me personally, but people in my community have it. What else do you say that you have, Shani, that people that either I have myself or people in my community have and we talk about it? And you know what the thing is? Even though it sucks for them and me, we all still work. What the hell is your excuse, Shani? What the hell is your excuse? You got your kids taken away. You don't give a shit. And this ain't going to wake you up. Nothing will. You're living with this loser, this riffraff. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I mean, really, this, this loser. Just leave him. Guy, distance yourselves, you know. Break, you know, like, um, realize that, hey, you know, you got your kids taken away. You spent all his money. He's broke. And just, just split. 
there's there it's not like you guys are uh, living off of love or something but like it really the thing that bothers me and my community is that we actually have the debilitations you talk about and we work and you sit there on your fat ass doing nothing so you know <laughs> i'm sorry folks but it's just like every time she says that like she needs to realize i we are actually have these these debilitating things, and yes, they suck. But we're not out here jiggling a, a, a can with coins in it, being like, "Give us money." <laughs> the trickle down system does not work. I. I, I And it's, it's mainly, and I, I think it's mainly because of the tax codes, how these companies pay zero in taxes, but seem to manage to get millions and millions and millions, mm -hmm. sometimes billions of dollars in refunds, even though they pay zero into the system worry about yourself okay a person's regular refund is like a couple thousand a few thousand maybe oh you you you're mad you jealous that you can't claim your kids anymore well that's what happens when when the state has to step in and they have to get uh foster care to take care of them yeah you won't claim them my god again it always goes back to oh if i have my kids i can claim them on my tax returns it's freaking sick, man. Like, really, I, I hate people like this. I don't even call people like this parents. You know how many cool, and when I mean cool, like awesome people that have a lot of money and they're a loving couple and they have the greatest parties and they we have so much fun and they're intellectual. We can talk on an intellectual level and they wrote books. And then the one caveat, they can't have kids. And it's, it's like I feel like my heart goes out to them because they should. Because people like Shani have kids and then they ruin it for them. And it's just like, you know, it's life. Life is like that. You know what I mean? Unfortunately. Compared to these companies that get billions in refunds. There, there's, there's an inequality within our tax code. Where these companies and these billionaires can pay nothing. But yet they get our money because that's essentially our money because we're the ones who are actually paying into the system the taxpayers and yes i pay my taxes no you don't you liar and and for some reason you have these senators whining about social security when they only pay 10% into Social Security, while the normal American pays like 45% of their income into Social Security, but yet they want to tax, they want to cut Social Security so they right. can sieve in more money for themselves. Because let's just be honest, they take away Social Security. That money ain't going to go to us. It's going to go to them. Because that's how these bureaucrats, oh, his work is, let's try to get more money for ourselves and then wonder why the country's falling apart. It's because you're not paying your fair share. You know, I, I, I could imagine how much money we could have in our system if, if those rich bastards. Well, uh, someone uh, just sent me a thing, and I won't say who, but they... Sent me about 280 bucks could usually for uh, Shani or Shani and Rev because they don't have the boys. It's taking it off their food stamps. What else are they spending that money on? Or are they also buying steak and lobster? You know, like how Rev would make fun of people uh, about getting. So, like, really, if that's not enough, what else is Shani spending the money on? We know that she eats, like, crap. Thirds would pay the 45%. That all of us have to pay into. You know what I mean? How much money would come into that system? That would that would make trickle economics actually work. 
is if they paid their fair share. And I, I and yeah, I'm I'm suggesting a flat tax. A flat tax. I think it's it's easy to calculate. You don't have to deal with all these loopholes and all this oh, and God. that and that and this. She and don't that know what she's talking about. <laughs> within the tax records. You don't have to do any of that. It's just you pay your flat tax. We get our infrastructure work done. We get our roads work done. And then everyone's freaking happy. And you don't see these rich people complaining. Why is the infrastructure failing? Well, maybe it's because you're not paying into the system. Why are you and, failing? And you need your refunds even though you pay zero into the system. Why are you failing? Uh, oh, but you, put, you pay zero into the system. And you haven't done dick of what cps said can you imagine guys like you know you, you have like your, your two loves your life your children and all you gotta do is just like try to get a job and you know do everything else. like try to get a job and try to go to a, a counseling for your reunification but i'm sure with shanny with the, with the, with her kids it was probably like a what's eating gilbert grape situation that they didn't want to bring no one to the house <laughs> like for real i'm surprised shanny can get out of the door like for, for real. Like all she's done is just eat, 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 and then talk about how much her legs are in pain. Well, yeah. Well, no, no, duh. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think those little small little ankles were were uh, set up to uh, take uh, to hold four hundred plus pounds. Maybe it's your greed and capitalism that caused the system to fail. Maybe it's your being a piece of shit, child abusing mother that caused you to fail. You know, you my need opinion. To have extra, that extra percentage number. Like normal Americans, we don't look at the extra percentage number because literally we're, hey, what's up? we're going paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, exactly, Angela. You know, imagine if rich people had to had to live paycheck by paycheck. I'm sure. And Angela says, yeah, what about Tyrone Jason? And again, that's that, you know, for some of the new people, I need to explain that. A lot of us that have been watching her for since 2019, uh, uh, Rev especially would make fun of people, not even Social Security. He would make fun of EBT. There, you know, like people I know who had to use uh, EBT because, you know, of the, you know, the food prices went up or whatever, or there wasn't an abundance of it. So they had to go to a pantry. There's nothing wrong with that. We should be helping each other out. But Rev would say, oh, uh, only uh, black people use EBT. I'm Tyrone. I'm going to be eating filet mignon and lobster. Like he made it a race thing. And that's why so many people, including yours truly, is pissed at him about that. Because they he didn't turn around and say, oh, I'm sorry about that. That, that was in poor taste. You know, that's a real apology. That was in poor taste. He was out of his mind. He was wet brain. He was trying to come off of alcohol. He was a high on uh, maybe meth, allegedly, or some marijuana, whatever. Something to make him say that dumb shit. And that's why every time they talk about EBT, it kind of bothers me. Because you know what? Right now, without EBT, they'd be in a lot of trouble. But again, I'm sure they're using somebody out there to pay their way because Rev and Shani, unfortunately, always can find victims to uh, give them money for pizza and stuff like that. Their little greedy ways would change real quick and they wouldn't even be thinking about percentages. They'd be looking like, how do I, what do I do in order to survive to have the essential needs for living, which is housing, water, food, medical. Like, we have a two tiered system within our tax code. Maybe no, not our that, justice that, that poor system, cat. but it's definitely in the tax code. And it's unfair to the poor and middle class. Like, I don't get why the 1% doesn't pay anything yeah. into the system. 
while getting refunds. And, 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 and you know this because of, of the release of Trump's tax records. Okay, you can say that. But you know what? Like, again, and I can't stress this enough. I can't believe Rev Jason gave, the boyfriend gave Shani the reins to all his financials to do the stock market and everything. If you were to just listen to her for like 10 minutes, talk about this, her saying she doesn't understand how stocks work or the stock market. Why would you do that, Rev? Like, why is you, you were just asking for trouble. You know, if she knew what she was doing, she had years, um, experience and she had her own uh, uh stocks then i would understand but she had nothing she took all yours bro wow why, why would you do that just because you love her or you think you love her you're infatuated with her that was a stupid move rev that's why you're in the doghouse now how the man paid zero into the system but for some reason got 500 million dollars or, or five million dollars in refunds like, how do you pay zero into the system, but get five million? Oh, sorry. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't know how much more there was of that. For some reason, I pressed the button by accident. And I don't know. I, I'm not going to go through that. It's more... It's more just that bullshit. So, you know what? I'll just cut it there. Um, I will be live uh, probably in a, in a few days. I want to do the G-Man video and just a um, a video on what you call it, on on uh, Cyrex's latest whatever's going on. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, like I said with Shane, it's just it's the same shit, and I hate that. Uh, it's on Instagram. I can't play it or fast forward it. So I'm just going to cut it here. Guys, thanks for hanging out. I will see you on the next one. Be kind to yourselves and each other. And uh, just remember, Draven loves you. And I, and I thank you all for helping out my channel. I am very humbled. So uh, please, if as long as they keep making you laugh, uh, consider helping me out. At least leave a like. That's free. And that's it. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'll see you uh, soon. And that's it. Have a good night. Good night, everybody.